If you read the book of Zephaniah this week, you found that a lot of the things that the Lord was saying in the book of Zephaniah through this minor prophet, he was sharing because he was talking to all the different people that were Jews. He was talking to them no matter where they had gone off to because what had happened was they had been spread throughout the world. And at the end, he talks about the remnant. The remnant are those that are left over. Those that are left over and saying, listen, if you'll do these things, here's what I will do. See, in the end, no matter what, God loves us because we are his children. And in the end, if we will just follow through and do the things that he asks us to do, focus upon the things that he is requesting of us to do, and really in the end, doing the things that Jesus commanded us to do, well, we're going to have a much better walk. I will ask you this question. Whatever it is that you struggle with, wherever it is you have the cracks in the pot, wherever it is that you're a broken vessel, whatever it might be, past addictions, present addictions, things that you're worried about, things that are going on in the inside, have you truly worked it out on your own? Because if you haven't, how's it working out for you so far? In fact, when is it that you will give it to the Lord? Zephaniah, at the very end, God talks to them and he says, you know what, if you will do these things, when you will do these things, if you will just choose to do these things, I'm going to take care of you. In the New Testament, Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And Jesus shares with us that we need to love others as he loves us and go and make disciples in his name. Are you doing those? Are you loving others just to love them? And in the end, who are you doing it for? Yourself or for the Lord? Think about that and we'll talk more tomorrow on The Rest Principle.